for people that are planning on visiting Ayanapa, which is literally 45 minutes from Lanaka, not far, coastal area. Ayanapa is known for, I'd say, it's parties and kind of like crazy nights and a lot of uni students from the UK tend to go there to get drunk, but not only. There is another side to it. So if you want to do it like me, the chilled way, you can. And I'm going to tell you my favorite spots that I think you should visit if you're going to Ayanapa area. The first spot I would recommend you visiting is called Cabo Greco. Um, and it's basically lots of sea caves. You can do some cliff jumping from there. You can swim in the sea. Really nice spot. I would recommend you going. There is also the Love Bridge, um, which is called Camera to Caraca. So that's the Love Bridge. It's really nice as well. I would recommend getting there early so there are not too many people taking photos. For lunch, I've got a few cool little spots I'd like to recommend. Take me later. One is kind of Eden, so you would probably need a car to get there. You probably do in most of these places. I would probably suggest you hire a car for that day. The first one is Malama Beach Cafe and it's called Kalipi. I would definitely recommend that spot. You can have lunch and then there is a little beach there so you can have a swim. It's quite hidden and tucked away. I really liked the view. Service was good, food was good. Recommend. The other beach bar that you may want to check out if you're looking for some Tulum vibes. <laughs> um, it's called Tulum Beach Bar. Quite cool as well. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you're in the area. They've got nice cocktails. It's a cool spot for photos as well. So these would be my two spots I'd recommend for lunch. You could also go to the port of Ayanapa, um, which has lots of restaurants there. And the port is actually quite cute so you could check that out if you're feeling like more of like a city vibe the other parts i would say more to keep for the afternoon anyway that's how i've done it would be to go to the chapel and the area of agio ana giroi i am sure i'm getting that wrong i'm so sorry and then last but not least i highly recommend you visit categorical viewpoint inside the national park definitely recommend visiting that spot it's absolutely gorgeous at sunset you're sitting right up there with a view of Ayanapa and everything please do yourself a favor go there at sunset there are other activities that you can do which i've not done so you could do scuba diving they also have statues that you can see in ayanapa so one of them you can actually do underwater and the other one they're just there in like a little park i've not done those activities so i just know they're there if you fancy doing those kind of activities you can there is also paragliding so that could be another one that you could do when you're in the area. But these would be probably my recommendations, again, based on my proper experience. So I hope you enjoy it. If you visit those places, please comment so I know what you thought of it. If you've got other recommendations as well, please share them in the comments because it would help other travelers and myself as well. If I visit next time, I might have missed some amazing spots you never know it all so please feel free to share but yeah that was again a great experience and i highly recommend it anyway i think that's enough information i've just realized what time it was my friend just messaged me so we are going to go to dinner talking about greek local delicacies to a local tavern that is roughly like half an hour from Larnaca, where I'm currently living. So I'm going to take you with me. <laughs> this should be interesting. We're going to try different foods. Um, it's already there, uh, like super, super local. So I'm going to be the only foreigner there, I'm sure. Um, so can't wait. I'm so hungry. I could eat a cow. So I'm just going to go quickly get ready because it's going to get there anytime now. So I better go and shower and get changed. Where are we going? Tavern in Asiano. Okay. And it's 20 minutes from Lanaka. Yes, 20, 25 minutes. We've got our local guide here. 
Yes. Okay. And what are the specialties? They make of top. They make of top? Yes. Okay. Mezeles. Mezeles. It's in different small dishes. Okay. Is uh, it meat? Like what is it? It, it has also meat, but okay. it is a special. Mezeles. Okay. Souvlaki is my favorite. The souvlaki. I can't pronounce it. Souvlaki. It's pork meat. With? It's like a plate. Uh, yes, you can take it as a, a plate or it's inside pita. Pita is spread on bread. Okay. Very tasty. So you, but how do you usually eat it? With hands. <laughs> with your hands and with bread? <laughs> or with hands just by itself? Ah, if you mean something... Uh, no, it comes with salad. Okay, so it's... Uh, of, of done it comes with potatoes, with salad, with... Um, some kind of rice like purguri, the name. Okay. And uh, souvlaki is more simple on meat, pita, and uh, salad. Okay. That should be tasty. Okay, and I've got a question. Ah. With this thing that I bought today, there was a disaster. This thing. And I don't know, like I wanted to eat it straight away, like the photo, but it's just the leaves. Your okay, mom knows you how to cook that. You didn't notice that it's uh, empty leaves? No, because I bought it online. <gasps> yeah, I why bought it the leaves because why there is you no buying online? supermarket next to where I live. So I bought it online and because I saw the photo, I thought it came like already made, but it's obviously just the leaves. So your mom knows how to cook that. Sure, of course. They put uh, rice and uh, meat. Yes, I've noticed they put meat here because like the way I used to eat it, usually you buy it in a can, it's already made, like overseas when I bought it, like I bought it in Australia, in France, and it just comes with, with rice, like that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, why, why here it comes with meat as well? Because last time I ordered it, first it was warm, because usually I've eaten it cold, it was warm with meat. Is it like just in Cyprus that they cook it like that? I don't know, exactly. <laughs> Because <laughs> I thought the Greek version was like the rice. Yes, you food. know, different countries have different foods. Uh, uh, may maybe some similar, some a bit different. But have so. you eaten the way just with rice or never? It is always like in Cyprus. It show it show meat also here. Yeah. Glasses. Yes, my mother can cook it. So uh, how do you do it? It's uh, the, the in Greek name means gemista. Okay. Gemista it means fill. Uh, okay. So she will, uh, she will fill it with rice and, okay. and uh, turn it. Uh, but this you need. How do you boil it? Huh? Do you boil the leaves? No, I think she, she rub it around okay. and she put it for cook. Ah, uh, afterwards, like all together, like she put yes, it. Yes, I hope. Like... I hope not to make some mistake. And, <laughs> and Cypriot people, they will see you. Will... <laughs> Don't get so pissed off, <laughs> guys. We're not sure. Okay, just a disclaimer. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. He do the wee woo wee woo. <laughs> like when I take you. Like... You just eat it. You, you don't cook it. You just eat it when it's ready. Yeah. You've got the good part. Like you're not making the the work. You're just testing to make sure it's good. The name is kupepka. Okay. In Greek, it's kupepka. Okay. You need to learn the Greek uh, word from all this food. Kupepka. No. <laughs> Kubepkia. Kubepkia. Yes. Okay. And that's a leaf. That means leaf. Yes, and she can also do the same with uh, tomato. Tomato? Tomato? Or from piperi. Piperi? Not piperi in English. Pepper. Pepper. Capsicum. Pepper. Yes, she can uh, She can remove the, um, uh, the one part and she can feed Stuff it. Ah, oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Stuffed. Yes. Stuffed so this is yamista. Yamista. That's awesome. Uh, will we be eating Yamista tonight? No. <laughs> no Yamista for me. It's, uh, you have three options. It's of ton, okay. it's souvlaki, okay. or mezedes. Mezedes is the, is the top, uh, the special. Okay. okay if so you... I should have that then if it's the special. Okay. If I you, don't know. If you need, uh, if you own uh, mezedes, we need to, uh, to take for two. Oh. We can bring a lot, but it's, it's, I, I like them too. It's different dishes, small dishes for... for to share. 
Yes, yes, small, small things and uh, a lot. Uh, okay. Can share. Okay. You'll be full. <laughs> I'm going to roll down the hill after I finish. If here. they stay, you can bring for tomorrow or so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have my lunch. That would be better than that. That's for sure. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> They bring some food without order. No. But why lemon? Is it every time to go with the food, like you put yes, lemon on the table? In Cyprus, you can't eat meat without the lemon. It's, a, it's the most basic thing. So every time it's like bread in France, like they would have lemon. Not on the... all people, not all uh, places. Uh, this place, yes. Also. <laughs> What's the name of the place? It's uh, Damblios. Damblios? Yes. And of course we've got cats. <laughs> cats? Yeah. The cats everywhere. Everywhere in Cyprus. in Cyprus. This comes automatically. You didn't order it. Not automatically. They come without, uh, without us, without us. Why? It's, it's a place here. They know, they know how to sell, they know how to bring up customers in a place and you see so many people. Because, you know, it's not even Saturday today on Friday. So this one, what is that one? It's Lucanico. Lucanico. And what's inside? Is it like blood sausage? No, no, no. It's not blood. It's a, a small piece of uh, meat. Meat. Yes, it's not it's not very healthy, it's a bit fatty, but it's very tasty. Okay. So not healthy, it's, it's very tasty. Uh, listen, and halloumi, of course. Yes, yes. And the halloumi when it's uh, baked is very tasty. Yeah, and then we've got these things. I don't know what that is. Ah, it's kefteres. Teres? Kefteres. Kefteres. So that's meat. No, it's uh, like bread and meat together. Okay. Ah, is that this, is, this is languy. This is... Um, uh, it's a special, it's a special... Um... What is it? <laughs> I'm worried. No, what's special? Organ. Oh uh, no, what is it? Yes, it's languine. It's, I don't know how to explain. Is it like the intestine of the heart or the... No, not heart, not heart. Oh, the liver. I think, I think, yeah. Oh, no. No, no, try one, try one. I don't like, okay. I don't like also, but, uh, but uh, try. No. What? It's very tasty. Huh? But I can't. Sure. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that, that was not a good thing. Like. Okay, I will not tell you anything about the food. You, eh? Ah, oh, this was so weird. Like there is like um. I think it's your idea. It's tasty. You, because you, you thought that is something bad. No, no, no. It's the t yes. It's if, I, if I didn't, uh, it's very tasty. And the mushrooms. That's safe. That I like. I know that I like that. I want to know, is that liver? What? I think yes. Because I think... So this is pork. Cooked pork. And this one? It's eggs. Yes, it's eggs. Yes. With, and that's the, what is this one? It's, it's kind of... It's falafi. Falafi? No, bulguri. It's like a rice. Ah, uh, bulgur, okay. It's a bit sweet, but not... Not a bit, a lot of sweet. I've got a huge food baby. This was so much food. I am dying. <laughs> I don't know how people eat like this all the time. It was amazing though. I'm so glad I had this experience. Just going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys had as much fun watching that vlog as I did filming it and you enjoyed the local experiences. If you did, please subscribe to a new channel that will really support me 
and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just going to sleep on my food baby in the meantime.